The Southwest Arts Club and Blind Wino is a public art gallery and event venue located in the Southwest Waterfront neighborhood of Washington, D.C. Previously a Baptist church, the space was conceptualized in 2012, and in a few years, a team of artists revamped the building into a grand scale piece of public art. Within the building, the first level is a gallery space and dance floor, while the second is an open venue space with a lounge area in the back room. The club can be seen from the surrounding neighborhoods and has become a focal point in the community. It promotes a tight-knit circle of artists and art lovers alike. The vast and active community of Washington, D.C. artists use their creations to promote beliefs and opinions shared by the general area's population. This mural, painted in front of an eco-friendly community garden, is a great representation of community values. The Washington, D.C. area is jam-packed with public art installations and murals. Art can be found around every street corner, on, above, and below ground. Every painter has a different creative process. Most begin with having a piece commissioned by an organization or individual. This process can be done privately or through artist consortiums like Murals DC. The group connects mural artists with prospective locations and the money and tools needed to create their art. From there on, the independent steps vary from artist to artist. So usually um, the design, we kind of have a bunch of elements and you're kind of creating a collage almost with the elements and it's all digital. So we create it on Photoshop. And then we usually project, but for this wall we ended up cutting everything into large stencils so that we can then put the stencil on the wall, trace it, um, and, then, and then go from there and paint it all in. Usually uh, the idea starts from, um, I might have a thing, or I might dream about a thing, or just, just living as a, a human being as a, a black man in the city and then I sketch it out on a canvas and I uh, treat my canvas like I texture it with like plaster and then after that I start layering paints to actually paint that particular image that I thought of. There's a couple of different ways they can come about. So one, one of them is that someone has a vision um, and not every artist is like this. Um, a lot of artists will just they get hired for the style that they do. I like doing a bunch of different styles, um, so sometimes it'll be a vision that they have and I'll add my inspiration and that's how it's created. Um, sometimes just an idea that I want to express. So it goes from mock-up on paper sketches to picking out colors and installation. Once completed, each piece becomes special for the community's residents and for the artists themselves. A large aspect of a mural's significance is the people featured within. Outside of the infamous Ben's Chili Bowl, a mural depicts over a dozen historically and currently relevant and important black celebrities, politicians, artists, and activists. But these people don't have to be superstars. In fact, most of the time, they're individuals who've made an impact within their own small neighborhood circle. Kate and I were commissioned to paint that wall, and it was on the side of Soup Up, which is a brand new soup restaurant. Um, up on Kennedy Street and so the process that we really like to um, kind of use which is a little bit different than other mural artists is we really like to work with the community when we can. We put out a call for people from the neighborhood to come and get photographed for the mural. So then we took a series of photographs of you know youth and adults eating soup and you know holding plants and things like that. So we gathered a series of photographs and then from that we create the design. Schools, similar to restaurants or other public venues, often act as the core of a society. Educators will often commission artists for murals or 3D art to bring together the school, students, administrators, and parents alike. Lafayette Elementary School in Northwest DC is home to a handful of wonderful murals, one of which was painted by Rose Jaffe. Well, Lafayette Elementary School was such a special job because I went to Lafayette Elementary School. Um, so it was very much kind of a full circle situation. 
and that was two 60 foot long walls in kind of a main corridor of the school. And it was such an important opportunity to bring something special to that space. And I think that what that can do to space is actually, um, it's something that's even hard to put into words. I think that the feedback that you get when painting something of that scale, especially in you know, an environment like a school, you know, people walk through and they say things like, this just brings me joy, or um, I really feel just happiness when I'm walking through this corridor, or my kids come through and they're pointing out the colors or the animals that mean a lot to them. Um, I mean, think about if you're walking through an alley and it's, or, or like a long corridor and there's just, you know, beige walls 60 feet long. You know, that's one thing and it's fine and you're just trying to get from point A to point B. But if you create an experience in that space and make it something exciting and fun, um, you know, that's a really wonderful thing that I think kids really drink in um, and then parents and teachers really love too. These children, the next generation of artists, art appreciators, and community leaders, require not only the art itself, but mentors and educators in the field. Just how to um, see things beyond what everybody else see, um, how to focus, and how to um, be motivated into your art. You know, these are things that um, I think is effective in classroom and the way that I, uh, I teach. One thing that I was joking about with Kate was that, you know, you don't even really stand outside of your own house for eight hours a day for seven days a week. You know what I mean? I don't even know my own immediate community as much as I do the communities that I paint these murals in, you know? Murals are cultural and societal gathering places, a physical piece of a community that has the ability to unite everyone in and around it. The consistent ebb and flow of Washington, D.C. forms a natural hub for everyone to create and appreciate art on a daily basis. Without the multitude of public art and artists, this wonderfully diverse urban area would surely lose a part of its core.